swing. So we want to really focus laterally down one side of the body and we're thinking about the sheath or the rounding of the leg and the support from it coming through the glute med and min. So we're going to use the tower for this to increase the intensity and by using resistance from the Pilates apparatus we can increase and emphasize and take our intention and attention to the lateral swing. Okay, so if you take this strap into your hand there, Derek, okay, and lift your pelvis up into bridge, and you're just going to press down in your own time, that's it. So first of all, I've asked Derek here to lift his pelvis up and open the front of the hips. So he's got freedom and space. While he's coming up, he's got the stability coming through the glutes, power and intensity and ground force reaction coming through the feet and we're focusing on the lateral sling by pressing the arm down nearest the tower. Now the reason why this is lateral sling is when the arm presses down he has to focus and stabilize more on the supporting leg. Now we can increase the intensity by floating the left leg up. So let the left leg go up Derek, flex the foot and we'll have 10 more. And it looks easy, don't be misled, it's incredibly challenging. Good, that's it. So we're going to go into the lateral sling again, and this time we're using a tilting reflex. Now a tilting reflex is where the reformer is moving. And for Derek, who's a professional football player, this will take over into the pitch when the pitch is wet in everyday life. So arms out at shoulder height, Derek, palms facing up to the ceiling to create more openness and just pushing the carriage out and in. Taking your time 10 times. Now during movements involving single leg stance such as walking, the lateral sling comes into tension to maintain the pelvis stable over the stance leg preventing pelvic drop on the opposite side of the pelvis. So this is why the reformer is so key to this. Now, when we have failed control of the lateral sling, as the hip drops, it actually shows us what's called a Trendelenburg in our gait phase of single leg stump. So this is where the reformer becomes particularly good. Now, bend the knees now, Derek. Stick your bottom out, and you're going to press out and in with the carriage leg. So we're taking the focus on the supporting leg, working on the tracking, and again, we're thinking about this sheath coming right the way round. According to Drake in 2015, the deep fascia in the lower limb forms a thick stocking-like membrane which covers the limb. The fascia is thicker in the thigh and gluteal region and it's called fascia lata. And we can really emphasise the fascia lata here. Now stay there, Derek. And the other way, push to go out. So now we've got the carriage leg press. And again, Derek's making it look easy, but it's actually very, very hard. He has to still work on his form and function, upper extremity, in relation to the lower extremity moving. A few more. And now we're going to go side to side, letting the arms go. That's it. So it's called your speed skating. That's it. And again, every time he transfers weight, I'm taking my intention and attention, thinking about gait, but I'm working him in a frontal plane, so it helps him when he's on the football pitch. Two more.